Hello boys and girls. This is Professor Nelson from Electronics. If you have a flashlight like this one here, you're not using it because it runs on regular batteries or non-rechargeable batteries. Since today most use lithium batteries, however, there are still some that continue to use non-rechargeable batteries like these here, whether double A or triple A. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make it work without batteries. Well, for that, we're going to need a microwave diode. One like this one here, that you've recycled from some equipment you've repaired. We're also going to need a power adapter like this one here. Either 12 volts at half an amp, or 1 amp, or 2 amps. That would be all the material, so without further ado, let's continue with the video. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is disassemble the flashlight to see how it works internally. Okay, here we have the switch. We have one cable, and we have the other cable from the battery holder. And we have the board where the LEDs are. We can see that the LEDs are in parallel. And they have a resistor on the board. There, we have a resistor in series with the LEDs. So that's it. Now let's look at a little theory to see how to connect the microwave diode so the LEDs work without any problems. Alright guys, now for the theoretical part. Let's analyze these two circuits. The circuit at the top is the one with our flashlight, since it only has one power supply. A resistor, which we saw earlier, and the three LEDs in parallel. However, instead of 4.5 volts, we are going to use a 12 volt adapter. Therefore, we have to connect the microwave diode in series with the components it already has. First, we'll connect the microwave diode, then the rest of the flashlight components. And since it's a series circuit, this means the 12 volts will be divided among the three components. The LED will have 3 volts. In the microwave diode, 8 volts, and the rest, is 1 volt on the resistance. Now how do I know that 8 volts fall on the microwave diode? Well, we're going to find out with a tool we made in previous videos. Well, what we have to do now is put together this circuit. But first we are going to confirm the 8 volts that the microwave diode requires to operate. So let's confirm that. Okay guys. Now, to confirm that the microwave diode needs 8 volts to work, we're going to use this tool. This is a tool that we did in a previous video, and if you want to know how to do it, I will leave the video link at the end of this video. Now we place our multimeter in direct current at 200 volts or greater than 40 volts. Now we directly connect our tool to the connectors of the multimeter. We turn on our tool. And we have 38 volts. We measure the microwave diode directly. Negative to negative, and positive to positive. And we have almost 8 volts. Therefore, the microwave diode will need 8 volts to function. Using our tool, we can measure the voltage drop across the LEDs.
and we have 2.6 volts. But when we connect the power supply, the LED voltage will increase to approximately 3 volts. Now that we've confirmed the voltage drops across the components, we can now assemble the circuit. So let's start assembling the circuit. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is remove the cables from our flashlight's battery holder. Where the blue cable is the positive cable, and the yellow cable is the negative cable. The connections for these two cables, according to the diagram or the circuit we have, would be as follows. From the positive side of the LEDs, which would be this one here, it connects directly to the cathode of the microwave diode. And the negative terminal of the LEDs goes directly to the negative terminal of the power supply. To connect the power supply, we are going to use this connector where the negative and positive terminals will be connected. Therefore, the negative terminal will be connected directly to the yellow wire. And in the case of the positive terminal of the LEDs, it will be connected directly to the microwave diode. And through the microwave diode to the power supply via the connector. Okay, let's make those connections. the positive end of the LEDs to the negative end or cathode of the microwave. Now for the negative end, it has to be connected or soldered to the connector, but we need to make a hole in the lid of our flashlight. So, let's make the hole first. Very good. Now we connect the cables. The longer pin would be the negative end, and the shorter one would be the positive end. We're going to solder a wire for the positive end, and the negative end would be the loose yellow wire. We connect the positive wire to the anode of the microwave diode. And the negative end to the negative end of the connector. Very good. It's ready. Now let's test that everything works before gluing all the components. We connect the power supply and see if the LEDs turn on. Perfect, it works great. So now we're going to glue all the components so they don't move. Okay, once the glue has dried, we can move on to assembling our flashlight.
Okay, our flashlight is ready, completely modified. Now let's test it. Okay, now that we have our flashlight modified, let's power it with a 12 volt power supply. And there it is working very well. And without batteries. Now with the help of the diffuser of an LED spotlight that is no longer useful, we can convert our flashlight into a table lamp so that the lighting is much more uniform. Well, our flashlight turned out pretty good. Okay, guys, this concludes the video. Now, don't forget if you like the video, a like helps the channel a lot. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.